Are you treating your domain name with the kind of respect that it deserves? I'm Martin Sharp, and I'm really wanting to have a chat with you about how you are securing your own domain name. Because there's so many people out there that I find still aren't really giving it the attention that it requires. The reality is that this is probably one of the key assets that you have in your business, that you're drawing other people from around the world to your company with. Because you'll have a website, you'll have an email address, all of these are underpinned by your domain name. So, when you've registered this, have you actually taken the attention to make sure that the registration details that you've put on there are correct? Are you going to the right place? Because the reality is, if you're not getting any of the updates or any of the messages from the registrar, there is a possibility that you will lose your domain name at some point in the future. And what will that actually mean for your brand, let alone for your own time and your own sanity in trying to recover from that position? Also, when you start thinking about domain names and how you're securing them, how many people out there still have a Yahoo account or a Gmail account as being their email address that they registered the domain name under? And again, the problem with these kind of addresses are that they're easily hacked. And we've heard multiple um, reports on the news where this has been the case, where people have lost access to their accounts because the system's been hacked by either Microsoft, Google, or various other large organizations that provide with free email addresses. So think about that when it comes down to how you secure your domain name. Wouldn't it be better to make sure that you use an email address that you have a little bit more control over? Hi, I'm Mike Sharp, and I hope you take some of these into account and secure your future. Bye for now.